Angus is ready to get in the car. Aaron carefully loading him. We get one hand sort of up under their chest and one gets right under their back. That way their spine's properly supported. It stays aligned while they get in the back. And we don't let them jump. Come on, put your feet up, Purse. He's pretty stubborn. So the feet go first. Aaron holds under the chest and bottom. Not really ideal for this amount of hounds. We bought it when we were only transporting two hounds. And then we got one extra hound and that one goes in the very back with Junior. She hasn't been out and about off leash for ages so she's probably pretty excited. Found her brother and sister. Field's a bit slushy, and Millie is not impressed. Ah, uh, Polly! Don't roll! There she goes, running off. She's pretty happy to be off leash. Pretty excited. Come on! Come on! There goes Millie. Well, you can hear the ground slushing. God, look at Polly go. Ah, uh, careful. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, careful. Absolute madness. Bit of Kiwi ingenuity there. They've got a soccer goal with the top of a rugby goal post welded to the top of it. But her eyes are nearly there. I'd say probably only a few more days. We can give her a bit more freedom. In the meantime, it's time to take this menagerie home for dinner. Which is madness on its own, trying to feed four hounds. Getting hungry? I think I said go home and she's deeply unimpressed by that proposition. But it is for dinner. Come on, let's go.